the magnetic field created by a toroid. A device called a toroid, you can see in the figure, is often used to create an almost uniform magnetic field in some enclosed area. The device consists of a conducting wire wrapped around a ring, a torus, made of a non-conducting material. So this is wrapped around the torus. For a toroid having capital N closely spaced turns of wire, calculate the magnetic field in the region occupied by the torus a distance r from the center. So, uh, we are interested in the magnetic field inside, and here is the direction of the current that flows in this uh, conducting wire, and you can see that using the uh, the right-hand rule, basically we can determine the direction of the magnetic field. If you have your four fingers uh, in the direction of the current, curling in the direction of the current, the thumb points in a direction that basically says the magnetic field is circulating clockwise in this uh, toroid, inside this toroid. So inside the toroid, we have the magnetic field parallel to the ds vector, uh, whenever we consider uh, uh, some portion of this current uh, Amperian loop that we take inside. If we consider an Amperian loop outside, that's loop 2, we can also calculate the magnetic field outside the toroid. Now the inner radius is B, outer radius is C, as you can see here. And uh, we can start with the first loop, loop 1, which is uh, this loop inside the toroid. Okay, so for loop 1, um, we can write Ampere's law, the closed path integral B dot ds is equal to, basically since the magnetic field is only a function of r, it's a constant on this loop, b times 2 pi r because they are, the ds vector has been chosen in the direction of the magnetic field here, so it, they are parallel to each other. This is mu0 times the current enclosed. What is the current enclosed by this loop? You can see that for, uh, uh, for each wire that enters and leaves this uh, area, we have a current, so there are capital N of them, so total uh, current enclosed is capital N times I, mu zero capital N times I, the total current that passes through the loop is capital N times I. So with that, we obtain the magnetic field inside B is equal to mu zero capital N I divided by two pi R. So this is our answer for magnetic field inside the toroid. Now, if we choose an, a radial distance R less than B, or we choose uh, a radial distance r greater than c, the current enclosed will be zero. So the magnetic field B dot ds uh, closed path integral will be zero and the reason why this is zero is not because the magnetic field is zero but because the magnetic field is perpendicular to the ds vector okay so uh, if you consider, for example, this loop two here, uh, the perpendicular current component uh, through loop two will create a magnetic field. So let's see how that works. Um, so in loop two, the 
the perpendicular current component through loop 2 creates a magnetic field So here mu0 times current enclosed is non-zero. So here you can see that uh, this magnetic field lines created by this uh, this basically current uh, that is wrapped around this conducting wire uh, will create uh, uh, a magnetic field so that the magnetic field lines will be uh, basically inside the loop uh, coming out like this and outside they're, they're going to be um, basically closing like this so here is the region of uniform magnetic field that is inside the toroid and here is what we have outside so since the um, the s vector uh, for this loop uh, will be perpendicular to the magnetic field line so you can see that the magnetic field lines will be perpendicular to the ds vector here and here and also the same thing will happen uh, in, in, inside this uh, loop uh, if we are not inside the toroid and therefore the magnetic field uh, the the mu zero times current enclosed uh, well, the integral b dot ds will be zero because they are perpendicular to each other, uh, but uh, we will have a current enclosed by this uh, loop uh, for for small regions here. That there we can see a magnetic field. So this is basically uh, like a current loop. A single current loop so you can see this is like a single current loop which is wrapped on a toroid okay so the magnetic field inside will be uniform like this outside in regions uh, uh, basically the middle of the toroid and outside the toroid we will have field lines that are basically uh, diverging out like this and the uniform field region will be inside okay so we considered the magnetic field created by a toroid so first we take a loop inside the toroid and uh, we can see that the magnetic field uh, using the right hand rule should be circulating in the clockwise direction uh, inside so b dot ds is b ds which is uh, since the magnetic field is only a function of r b times 2 pi r the current enclosed by this loop is the total current that goes through this loop which is mu zero capital n i so the n, n times i so mu zero capital n i is the answer for this closed path integral according to ampere's law so we find a uniform magnetic field inside mu zero n i over 2 pi r now if r is less than b so if I take a loop inside here, there will be no current enclosed. Uh, so uh, and if I take R greater than C, uh, the current uh, that is going to be uh, going through this uh, loop will also be uh, zero because the current enters and leaves the loop. Uh, therefore we will see that integral b dot ds will be zero but the the reason it uh, integral b dot ds is zero is not because the magnetic field is zero but it's because the magnetic field is perpendicular to the uh, ds vector uh, along these uh, paths and we can see that here if you consider if you concentrate on a single uh, current loop here you can see that um, we have magnetic field lines 
inside adding up giving us this uniform field and outside they are basically perpendicular so the ds vector that you choose here uh, along this path will be perpendicular to the magnetic field uh, inside and outside therefore uh, you will get integral b dot ds is uh, zero so uh, the perpendicular current component through loop two create a magnetic field.